Okay, how about chapter three? Three dash one. So if we look over here, we're trying to calculate the molar volume of an ideal gas at 100 psia and 90 degrees Fahrenheit. So molecular volume. So we're going back. This is an ideal gas. All right, ideal up here so that we know. Here's our pressure. Here's our temperature. So your mind should go towards the old PV molecular equals RT. So N that's hidden in there inside the molecular volume. So basically volume per mole. And if we know these parameters, so we can basically just rearrange things. So Vm equals RT over P. And now we need to just put the values in. So if we look up R, we can look up R from what? It's table 3-1. So let's go over here. Let's see if I can find that for you. Table here is 3-1. Eyes ah, turned sideways. But anyway, we can look on here and find the units. So I'm looking at PSI and F. So the F needs to go to Rankin. That's one of the first things that we need to do. And let me rotate this. There we go. So I'm looking at uh, which value do I want to have. I want to look at R here. Where's PSI? Here's uh, pounds per square inch or cubic feet. So 10.732. So I'll write that over here. 10.732. And that is 10.732, and then the units should be um, cubic feet, PSI over R. Is that right? Should be cubic feet, PSI, and R. There we go. So now, the, oh, one other step we got to take care of too would be converting our temperature. So we have temperature and Rankin. I won't do that. Temperature and Rankin is equal to 90F plus 460. So now let's plug all that in. So Vm should equal to. 10.732 cubic feet PSI R times 90 plus 460 that's in R now and then divide that by P which is 100 PSI so PSI cross that with that, R cross that with that, and then we get molecular volume in cubic feet. So I'm going to grab my calculator here and 90 plus 460 is equal to 550. So 550 right there times 10.732. Divided by 100 gives us our answer. Our answer is 59.026 cubic feet. Quick enough, it's the ideal gas law.